Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, I take cars like my 1996 Land Cruiser and convert them to electric. It's cool when you have an EV that can drive over anything. It's a snow day here in Colorado. We got a ton of snow and I'm enjoying driving around in my electric Land Cruiser, blasting through all the snow drifts. It's just so much fun. All right, we're back at the shop. And let me show you what the new updates on the Frontier are. So you can see we got the two battery boxes installed. So they're empty right now. There's no batteries in them, but they're in the truck. So that's awesome because it was really tight and I was worried that maybe they weren't gonna fit. But you can see I've got plenty of space on either side of the drive shaft all the way back. And I've tested it by flexing the rear axle both ways and fully compresses it and uh, the drive shaft never contacts the boxes so that's awesome now i can go ahead and start assembling all the batteries and the wiring and all the other stuff that goes into the battery boxes but they're mounted in the truck and they fit so that's a super big check mark off the list you can see i got some tabs welded on uh i welded on these brackets here which i think maybe i'll trim those up and maybe Put some plate over the end so they don't fill up with junk but uh basically so some heavy duty welded on mounts on the front and then on the rear i uh, welded this cross member brace onto the frame both sides and that is what the battery boxes hang off of and i really beefed up the mounts back here uh, just because they're only held on with weld and the ones on the front are at least held on with gravity as well so i think this is going to be nice and strong and hold these boxes just fine. Everything clears uh, back here on the shock as well. Um, this is just a boot, which is a little bit of touching happening, but pff, that's fine, no big problem. So we'll get that cross member cleaned up and painted, and we'll go ahead and uh, finish up the welding. I still have some spots to weld on that. So that's the big updates as we got the battery boxes in. So now we can continue with the build. And once we get the batteries in here, it's drivable. Uh, we still have to put the interior back together in the cab. Um, Dave got the bench seat out to an upholster and he's gonna do new upholstery on that bench seat. So that should look really cool. I think he's doing black and gray. And uh, we also gave him some heat heating pad elements. We stripped out the seat heaters uh, from the donor Nissan Leaf and we're gonna have the upholster install those into the bench seat on the butt in the back. So it'll have a nice heated seat. So that's kind of the big updates, uh, cause last week I was out of town visiting eMuscle Cars, which was so cool. If you haven't seen that video, check out my last video over at eMuscle Cars. Um, those cars are just amazing. Really cool what people are doing with EV conversions. So back to the frontier, Dave has been in here and he got these two uh, pieces of the bumper blocked off nicely. He's working on this third one and then he's gonna go ahead and block off these. So that will just block off all of the holes in the front bumper because it's not needed. We don't need the cooling capacity of that airflow. And if we can block these, these uh, vents off, that's gonna increase the aerodynamics. And every little bit helps uh, with these homemade EV conversions. The boxes, I have them, they're tucked up about the same level as the frame. And they're mid-mounted as best as I could get them. I wanted them as far forward as possible just to try to uh, keep some of the weight balance towards the front, um, just to hopefully uh, have more safe handling habits and not have a truck that just constantly wants the rear end to come out. So that's kind of my thought there. My philosophy when it comes to doing EV conversions like this is that I want to maintain the spirit and the original intent of the vehicle as much as possible. So for instance, it, I probably would have been smarter to put the batteries just in the bed and tell Dave, sorry, we can't have it tilt. We got to put the batteries there. It would have been a lot less work. The truck would probably be running right now but that would just go against my philosophy. I want 
the pickup truck to still be a pickup truck. So I want him to be able to drive up to the garden center and have them dump a big load of gravel in the bed, no problems. I want him to be able to just throw his camping stuff in the back and hit the road with no problems. So maintaining the usable cargo capacity was one of my ultimate goals with this EV conversion. And also I do not want to put batteries in the passenger compartment. I think that's kind of a dangerous move. When these batteries start going bad, they uh, release hydrogen fluoride gas, which is deadly. And if you don't die from it, it can really screw up your lungs. Um, so if the battery starts outgassing and you're inside the car, the whole cabin of the vehicle could fill up with that gas before you have enough time to pull over and safely get out of the car. Like if you're on the highway or something. So I think that's just a dangerous thing to do. And so those are my two philosophies when it comes to batteries. Keep them out of the passenger compartment and maintain the usable cargo capacity of the vehicle. So I think I've done that here with these battery boxes. Now we just have to make it work. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time here on EV Swap. And be sure to tell your friends if you think they're gonna like this video. See you next time.